This is just going to be some kind of discussion because today I've had a not a great day at work and it's really made me realize how much I hate being an employee and how much I really, really want to be an entrepreneur. Well, anyway, my name is Nate Panda. I received a letter in the mail today from Miguel Ferreira from Portugal. And inside it is my is like a little sticker for my change of my YouTube channel name from Nathan Pandazopoulos, my full name, to Nate Panda, just because it's my nickname and it's easier. But anyway, I I've spent three and a half years of my life living in New York City. I moved there in 2019 and I went there to study acting and it was the most wild thing I've ever done. It was just tremendous, truly tremendous. I saved up for a year and a half to haul my ass over to New York by myself and land on a continent where I knew not one single person. And that was just I was, so, I was shit scared, but I knew it need, I knew I needed that to happen. I knew I needed to make a change in my life because I came out of high school completely lost, completely lost. Those first few years out of high school were really difficult for me, and I know that's the case for a lot of people. And I spent you know a good three, three and a half years of my life in New York, and I came back here in November, and. It's been really good to have a lot of space and spend time with my family and all that stuff being here. But realizing that I've spent most of my life as an employee, even though I have been on, you know, a few entrepreneurial pursuits, like I started a business back in January called Production Apparel. We sell basically apparel and equipment to film production companies in Australia. Uh, my business partner, Ben, and I have the business, and we've had a few clients already, which has been fantastic, uh, but it's not money that I'm living off, you know, and really what I want to do is YouTube. YouTube has been one of the things I've always wanted to do with my life, and this would now be my 27th video since I officially started in September of 2022, and I feel like I've hit a wall. I feel like I haven't been providing value and I feel like I do have a lot of value to provide. And I think part of the reason I haven't been providing it is because I've been filtering myself out, the things I actually, I truly do care about out of my content by, you know, saying things that, you know, the world or at least the platforms want to hear rather than speaking to things that I know are true for other people as well. And that's definitely much easier said than done. Um... But yeah, today today is one of those days that just reminded me of just like, I just feel like I'm a pawn in someone's game whenever I'm working just for like a company in general. Like, don't get me wrong, being an employee can be super valuable. And I've, ha- I've worked so many different jobs before for a variety of different companies and individuals. And a lot of it has been amazing. But when you're working a job where you just feel like you're a cog in a system and you just spend seven and a half hours of your day there and you just like, like I am like one, am I making any difference to the world? Like almost 0% and two, am I feeling fulfilled in any way? Definitely 0%. And I'm sick of living my life that way, I suppose. I, one thing I can say is I've never accepted a job full-time or part-time. I've always been casual but working close to full-time hours because I'd never want to have an obligation to a company or anybody to give them notice on when I'm leaving. And obviously that means the company has the same thing to me, but if you're doing a good job, then chances are they aren't going to want to get rid of you anyway. But this, this is the start of a new journey for me in the sense that on the 5th of June, I'm leaving Australia. I'm leaving Australia on the 5th of June. And I'm heading over to Europe. I don't know where this is going to take me. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm spending a couple days in Singapore and then I'm going to Italy and I'm doing a film residency in Italy and then I'll be in Portugal and a few other places. And really what I want to do is keep making YouTube content and trying to develop an audience 
and create some work that I think people are going to find value in, whether it be entertainment value, educational value, whatever. But I think the point I'm trying to make here is that I I understand that you know there are a lot of people who feel lost in life or feel like they're not getting what they want out of life you know they're not making enough money or the work they're doing is not fulfilling or they feel trapped like I understand all of these things you know everybody has a universe the universe is calling out to everybody in some way and that's something that I'm genuinely starting to believe more and it's whether or not you're listening to the universe and following along with what it's telling you or you're not and Even in New York for the last year of my life there, even though New York is the place I still want to live, the student visa that I was on was ostracizing me from doing what I really wanted to do, which was, you know, run my YouTube channel, start a business, continue on these entrepreneurial pursuits, not have any time limit. And when you're on a student visa, you're not allowed to work. You're not allowed to start a business. You have to be in school full time. And those three factors alone, you know, sort of, shred that at the very least in half and the good thing for Europe with me is that uh, I'm getting my Greek passport because I'm half Greek so that means that unlocks the EU for me and my granddad was born in the UK so I can get the UK ancestry visa if I want to so I'm in the process of the Greek passport thing now which is good and I'm really excited about that Um, but essentially I just want to figure out more ways to provide value to you and um and show that, that really like anything, anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> Lucy, my sister's just say, come say hi, come say hi. There? <laughs> There's no one's there. Just oh. come and say hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, essentially prove that you don't have to have a lot of money to just say, fuck this to everything that's going on in your life or the position you feel like you're stuck in and just go because there's something special about the art of just turning up like I'm not a person that goes to the gym and works out I'm not but I've been reading the book Atomic Habits I've almost finished it and James Clear the writer talks about you know when you're establishing a habit of something that you want to be doing sometimes the art of just showing up can just essentially cue you to continue doing the habit. So I booked a class early on a Wednesday morning and on a Saturday morning this past week to go to F40, F45 gym and do two classes, essentially. And I decided to eliminate all of the steps in between that would make the process more difficult in terms of getting there because I don't have a car in Australia. I'd have to walk and then get the train and walk. So I got an Uber even though that cost money, I turned up on time to both of these time to both the, both of the class times, and I did the classes because I, I reduced the number of difficult steps it took for me to get there. It didn't feel like it was out of my way. I turned up, and I know for me that when I'm around other people and I'm a competitive person, uh, that that sort of environment would pump me up to really want to push hard in these classes. And now. I can't call myself as a person who works out, but for the two times that I've gone and booked working out classes, I've proven to myself at the very least, I'm the kind of person that shows up to the classes and doesn't cancel. I'm the person who always makes it on time for a workout, I suppose. And that's something that I want to continue doing. And I want to do the same thing with entrepreneurship and YouTube and making videos because I feel like I've been really stagnant with my channel. Like I'm proud of the last few videos that I've made, but it's taken me like three weeks at a time to make a video. And every time I make it, I expect to be like, oh my God, it's going to, you know, this video is so good. It's going to blow up and, and it doesn't, doesn't do ridiculously well. And that's okay. That's fine. You know, it's a part of the learning curve, but producing more content more often. And this is just a really basic thing. I just got this new mic like a week and a half ago just for any videos that I make when I'm sort of indoors and I'm shooting on my phone and I've got my action camera for whenever I shoot things outside. But essentially, I want to take you all on a journey with me. I don't know what the journey is going to be like. Your guess is as good as mine, truly. But I want to prove to you that if you put your mind to it, You can accomplish anything. You don't need a lot of money to get yourself out of whatever shitty situation you're in because I've been there before and 
and am now in some ways. You know, there's still changes that I want to make in my life big time um, because I, I want to be a full-time entrepreneur and I can't call myself an entrepreneur if I'm also employed by two companies at the same time. I think the term for that is either intrapreneur or bullshitting yourself, one or the other. Uh, but anyway, that is the, the end of this discussion for today. Again, my name is Nate Panda. I'm very active on my Instagram. Please follow me there at Nathan Panda Official. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below. Um, anything, I suppose, anything in relation to this video uh, that you think is worth commenting about, please do. It helps the video anyway. Um, and yeah, ciao Bella. Love you all. See you soon. And mwah, mwah, mwah. And I'll stick this on my laptop as well because uh why not mm. also do you like my rick and morty uh hoodie i like it uh.